So I'm just getting out here to a service call on this American Standard heat pump. Um, kind of give you a little bit of back history. Our company just did a repair a few weeks ago on this system. It was uh, basically tripping out on a uh, high pressure, just like short cycling out on it. Um, our company, we kind of do like a little kit bundle on these particular ones that have these electronic expansion valves. Um, I think we did the valve body, this little stepper motor, um, the EEV board, and then I think a couple of the sensors, and then that pressure transducer. Uh, pressure transducer was down in here. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it's, yeah, it's down there. Um, and then, you know, I put a new charge in there and everything like that. Pressures looked good based on the notes that I have from the previous tech. Uh, everything, so from my understanding, was working good. Uh, the customer just called back saying that the system was blowing out like 40 degree air, just seemed extremely cold in there. Um, so I'm getting out here now. Um, I instantly was kind of thinking something with defrost wasn't working correctly. Um, like the backup heat wasn't coming on when the unit's in defrost. That was what my hunch was. Um, so I first, uh, unfortunately I can't get any footage downstairs just because it's, it's uh, there's people down there and everything. They're probably gonna wonder what I'm doing. Um, but downstairs I put the thermostat into backup heat. It's electric backup heat. And uh, the system wasn't, I mean the system actually kicked on just fine in strip heat. Had good amp draw on all my uh, different legs of the strip heat. Um, so I know my strip heat was working correctly. Uh, then I got up here and I just wanted to check the pressures based on the notes I had from the previous tech. Um, my pressures looked really good. I had it in a call for heat. Uh, I checked my suction in my head pressure. Uh, both looked good where they should be. Um, and I should also add, once I got out here, of course the thing had already satisfied. Um, so I clearly it wasn't blowing the 40 degree air anymore. So just in the couple hours they called me, it went up to temperature. Um, so I decided to, so the way this is working, when it goes into defrost, this control board here, uh, right here, the defrost control board, should be sending a call downstairs to kick on the backup heat. Um, it's not actually getting its call from the thermostat. So I put it into a call for heat, for heat pump. Um, and then once it was running, I decided to, there's little ju jumper pins down here. You know, kind of zoom in a little bit closer. There's little jumper pins here and I just, you're supposed to arc two of them together and it puts it into a call for defrost. Um, I did that and basically tested this board out. Um, I looked at the wiring schematic on here. Um, there's a there's a wiring schematic on here that kind of shows you um, what obviously is going to what. So I looked at that and then I got on this Molex plug and checked the wire that's going to the, the backup heat, um, which is the strip heat. And it was not sending a call from the board when I had it tested in defrost. So it's looking like it's a bad defrost board to me um, that it's not sending, when it goes into defrost, it's not sending a call for my backup heat to counterbalance basically this thing switching into air conditioning mode. So without it kicking on that backup heat, it's essentially just in air conditioning mode when it's defrosting. Um, and based on some of the other information he gave me, he said that it was basically just blowing out cold for like 10 or 15 minutes, which really makes me believe that that's what's going on. Um, so what I'll do, typically whenever we do these defrost bores, we always do these sensors too. I think there's a, there's a, a coil sim sensor right here. And then there's just like a, I think this black one right here goes down to just ambient sensor, outside air sensor. So we'll usually do these two sensors and the board all at once if you're getting in there. I mean, this is already gonna be a interesting thing to get approval on since we just did a extremely big repair on this thing. So that kind of summed up um, what I'm finding out here. Uh, just to kind of go over uh, what's going on in this defrost, it's actually just finishing up that call for defrost up here. 
Um, that board is making everything go through the defrost like it's supposed to. It's just not sending on that call for the backup strip heat to kick on. Um, but essentially what's going on is we got this reversing valve right here and it's just switching the flow refrigerant when it's going to defrost. Um, so as this thing's heating in the winter time, these coils here are gonna start to frost up and over time they start to restrict airflow when they get too frosty or iced up. Um, this sensor right here is supposed to sense when it's um, the, the cold temperature and if it gets to a certain temperature they're set at, which actually I do not know off the top of my head. Um, but when it gets to a certain temperature, it'll kick on, it sends that signal back to your defrost board, and then it will basically kick it on into um, defrost mode. And when it's going into defrost mode, it is literally just switching the flow refrigerant out here, and it's sending nice and hot uh, refrigerant out here to help melt all the coils and cold refrigerant into the indoor coil. Um, and that's essentially what's going on right now. And without that backup heat coming on, it is just, uh, it's blowing out cold air because it's basically like running in air conditioning mode right now uh, for a short period of time. Um, so that's what I have going on right now. Um, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. I mean, I don't know what my company's gonna do. Luckily I don't have to deal with that as far as getting approval and everything like that. Um, I just have to come out and figure out what's wrong and put the new stuff in so um yeah that is what is going on if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh if you haven't already please subscribe it helps me out a lot uh anyone anyone who has anything to add or questions or whatever just go ahead and uh, leave them down below uh and thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it